Howdy, y'all. Today, I'm going to share a secret about the Handshake Protocol. There are several million dollars waiting to be claimed. And not only can existing platforms claim their own decentralized top-level domain called a Handshake name for free, but this is also a huge opportunity to establish a business in claiming reserved names on the Handshake Protocol. By owning an ICANN domain, which is basically a .com domain um, that's reserved on Handshake, you can unlock two additional assets, the Handshake name and then also Handshake uh, coin, h &S coin. So let's get started. A little bit about Handshake first. Uh, Handshake was created by early Bitcoiners like the Purse.io crew. Uh, which uh, Purse is basically the first legal Bitcoin marketplace founded in 2014. And then uh, Handshake was also created by Joseph Poon, who was an architect behind the Lightning Network, which is Bitcoin's most prominent scaling solution. Um, a few things that make Handshake unique is that Handshake has no company or foundation similar to Bitcoin. It's proof of work and is entirely community led. Uh, now, uh, the focus is on decentralized naming, and Handshake aspires to create a free and open web. Now, I would say I haven't really seen a hand, like a protocol that's as altruistic as Handshake. Uh, so here are two different areas where Handshake, the blockchain, is uh, aims to reward past contributors to the web, not necessarily on what they're going to do in the future but what they've uh, done up to this point in time. And so on the Handshake Protocol, um, the top 100,000 Alexa websites, um, you know, which is basically normal websites.com, .org, were reserved on Handshake for their respective owners. And with that, not only can they claim a decentralized top-level domain for free, but then uh, they're also given a free allocation of h &S, the coin as well, which is pretty incredible. And uh, the other one was uh, the top uh, around 200,000 open source developers on GitHub um, are entitled to around 4,000 uh, HNS. Now, what we're going to focus on today is the, the first one, which is on those reserved names. And to be clear, I believe as it currently stands with the protocol, um, they uh, these names can be claimed until uh, February 2024. However, there are ongoing discussions within the HNS community to extend um, that kind of like reserved name period, um, you know, at least for some of the names. Now, the target audience for this video uh, first is uh, platforms with significant um, HNS amounts reserved for them such as mozilla.com. Um, the second could be if you are a traditional domain investor and you may have a few .com or .net domains uh, where you can claim the h &S counterpart and, and you, know, you don't even know it. So for any domain investors, I would highly recommend that you check um, to see if you do have your names reserved on Handshake for you. And then the last one, which I think would be of particular interest to um, investors, opportunists, um, those that want to, you know, establish a business, are you know them really capitalizing on this treasure trove of several million U.S. dollars just waiting to be claimed. Now, the benefits of claiming H and S name, what's what's in it? You know, why, why should I go through these steps and learn what this is all about? First off, you can truly own a decentralized top-level domain, which is truly incredible. This is so much more than just renting your traditional .com domains where you can have those seized and taken away from you at any time. With Handshake names, you truly do own the name. It's censorship resistant. Uh, Handshake's all about establishing property rights online for the first time and uh, you know, with naming. And I think that is pretty incredible. A second part is if you already have an online presence claiming your, you know, decentralized top-level domain counterpart, 
uh, can help protect and enhance your brand. Um, another benefit is you will receive an HNS coin allocation for claiming. It's built within the protocol, within the total supply, and just waiting to be unlocked. And the average is usually around 503 HNS, which fluctuates. The price of HNS fluctuates on the given day, month, um, but it's still pretty substantial and worthwhile. And then not to even mention all the, um, you know, really cool use cases that you can do with these names. I mean, you, you know, for the first time ever, it becomes possible for regular internet users to be able to own a top level domain. Traditionally uh, with ICANN, that would cost you easily um, a few million dollars and you can be able to claim one, um, you know, through this setup for free. And in fact, you get uh, paid to do so. Uh, but some of the use cases could be uh, setting up a censorship resistant website, issuing unlimited names, um, you know, for those that are aware of the Ethereum name service with .eth or unstoppable domains, you can basically be that with a few clicks, um, you know, you can be able to do that on Handshake itself, which is just really empowering. And that's what I'm doing with uh, .tx. Um, so .tx I'm, uh, you know, .tx is listed on several different domain registrars like uh, Porkbun and Namecheap, for example. And uh, you can do something, um, you know, as well. These names are highly programmable, so the use cases really are limitless. Some other names is you can be able to use this, uh, you know, handshake name as a universal username across your online accounts in the future. So like on a decentralized Twitter or a decentralized Facebook, one name unlocks all of your accounts. And then... Another thing that I would note is you can use these names to be able to send and receive uh, crypto to by just typing in the name. So I think hopefully I got everybody on board and excited to either claim one of these names that's here sitting waiting for you or to be able to open up an auction for a name that is uh, still currently out there available. All right, here's an overview today. Let's get down to business. This is we're going to get a little technical and go through these steps. Like I said, I figure this out. Not too many people want the word to get out because this increases competition. But here we are anyways. The first step is going to be obtaining that .com or other domain um, that you know ha is reserved on the Handshake protocol. Uh, then you need to set up DNSSEC. Um, then you need to download Bob Wallet, which is a self-custody wallet. You type in the name on Bob Wallet. It'll give you a TXT record that you then need to add uh, to your ICANN domain. And then basically you click claim name on Bob Wallet and you get the you know decentralized name immediately. And then 30 days later, you get that HNS coin allocation. Sounds easy, right? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's break it down a little bit further. And I have uh, some visuals and everything that hopefully will make it clear and and then that way you can easily go back and reference as you're going through it your first time or two. So step one, obtain the ICANN domain. Uh, if you already have an ICANN domain uh, like mozilla.com, that's in the HNS reserve list, you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. But for those that don't have one, you need to sift through the reserved HNS names list, and that will be added to the description in the video notes. Now, uh, part of the first step is you need uh, to, I would say, reference a Handshake Block Explorer. I, I reference hnsnetwork.com to see if uh, you know your reserve name has already been claimed. So you can see on the left, uh, Mozilla has not claimed um, .mozilla yet, but you can see that it is still marked as reserved. Whereas on the right, uh, filevast.com has already it was reserved, but it's already been claimed by somebody. So you can't um, therefore be able to still claim .filevast because somebody already, already uh, did so. Now, setting up DNSSEC, um, you know, regardless of what registrar you're on, um, you know, with your ICANN domain, like GoDaddy or Namecheap, you're, you're going to need to use like Cloudflare or DNS Simple to set up DNSSEC and uh, create a DS record. And uh, setting up DNSSEC uh, properly for the ICANN domain will prove uh, true ownership to the Handshake blockchain. 
that you actually do own that ICANN domain. Therefore, you are entitled to that reserved handshake name. And so the two steps here is just using Cloudflare name servers and then going ahead and enabling DNSSEC, as you can see here with uh, you know the video we have, the main records are kind of like the di digest, digest type, which is SHA-256, um, th the algorithm 13, and then just using that key tag, whatever is provided to you. All right, now step three, uh, it's pretty simple, but it takes the longest is uh, just go ahead and visiting bobwallet.io uh, to download and, uh, you know, the Bob Wallet desktop app. And Bob Wallet is basically a self-custody wallet with a full node. Um, you have to be able to, you know, you own your keys. You know, if you don't own your keys, then you don't own your names. And so um, that's kind of, that was made popular with Bitcoin. And the same is true with Bob Wallet for Handshake. It does, you have to download the entire blockchain. So that may take a few hours to sync for the first time. So just be patient there. And um, yeah. And step four is once you have Bob Wallet fully synced, you can go ahead and click on that clean button there and then type in your ICANN domain. And then it'll pop up as you can see here. And then you just, you can see that it's 503 HNS. And then you're just following these steps here. Choose online DNS service of how the DNS sec is managed, because that's the way that I'm showing you today. And then what you do here is you, you're given a TXT record, and that's what you copy. And then the next step is then pasting um, that TXT record uh, within your uh, domain records, which you know we're um, hosting on Cloudflare. And so I would just follow these steps here for the domain and click save. And then step six is a very exciting moment. After the TXT record has been added to the domain's DNS records, as we saw in the previous step, now is the time to claim your decentralized TLD. It's, it's always an exciting moment when this happens. Uh, I added a little celebration effect, just for extra effect, but that's truly the way I, I feel the you know few times I've done this. Uh, but then, yeah, after this, then you receive your, um, you know, the HNS name. So that's a TLD. And then the final step, which is still pretty cool because you get free money, uh, is you get to claim the HNS coin allocation uh, around 30 days later. And Bob Wallet will inform you when it's time to claim this uh, HNS allocation. Now, here are some resources I would recommend uh, using some kind of block explorer like hnsnetwork.com just to see if, you know, like what names, um, you know, what reserve names have already been claimed or which ones are still available. Uh, DNS.live is another area where you can see a list of unclaimed versus claimed names. Um, like I said, there's probably close to 100,000 names that have been reserved on Handshake. And um, last I checked, we're probably around 5,000 names have been claimed so far. So we have a long way to go. And so with that, uh, you can imagine the opportunities um, around, I mean, a decent percentage of the total h &S coin supply was reserved uh, through this format. So um, very conservatively, it's several million dollars, um, most likely um, in the 10 million plus range that's just sitting there waiting uh, most of them can uh, be claimed just by regular people because um, you just have to be able to check to see what names um, are able to register. Or if you already have, you know, a platform that's pretty popular, then you already own your domain. Um, if you have any questions, uh, take you know, feel free to join one of our community groups on Telegram, Discord. I'll put all of these resources in the description notes. And then feel free to reach out to me too. Um, my main website is htx.io, and I'd be happy to help if anybody ever has any questions about this or just handshake in general. That's all I have today. Um, hope hope y'all hope this has been helpful, and I'll see y'all around. Take care.